Today, I'm going to show you how to make this portal transition inside of DaVinci Resolve. All you got to do is copy this no tree setup and that's it. So the first thing you got to do is visualize where you want this transition to happen. So I want it after I drop, perfect. And then I want it somewhere right here. It's really good to match the movement, but you also have to think about after because we have to transition out of the portal. So add about like a extra second or two. The next thing to do is layer your clips like this. Now we're gonna make two cuts. So hit B on your keyboard to bring up the blade tool and cut. Now I'm gonna highlight both clips in the middle and create a new fusion clip. So first thing I like to do is disconnect the merge and the media in two. So that way we have a uh, video track number one just being shown. The next thing to do is get some tracking data because we have to track in um, a portal later on. So I'm just gonna track right here. I'm gonna hit shift space to bring up the select tool page and type in tracker. And I'm gonna place this right here, a nice high contrast area. That's what you want. I'm gonna change the adaptive mode from none to best match, bring down my match tolerance to about point five and then i'm gonna track from current time okay we gotta test the track just to make sure it's good i'm gonna drop in a text node type in test and then in my tracking node i'm gonna change the operation type from none to match move hey i'm gonna bring that up there and just kind of scrub through a little bit and make sure yeah it's tracked in okay time to delete that text node and we can make the portal so I'm going to select media in two and I'm going to hit number two on my keyboard to bring it into this window. And then I'm going to drop in an ellipse node, connect that to the blue arrow to create a mask. Now I'm just going to kind of mess with the shape here and I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller than what it needs to be just because adding glow later might create a bit of an issue. Okay. The next thing to do is add in a displace node. So shift space, type in displace bam it's added in but nothing happened and that's because we need something to generate the displacement so drop in a fast noise you can find that in the hot bar and connect that to the green arrow again nothing has happened that's because we have media in two selected and not the displace node so select the select the displace node and hit two on your keyboard and you can see there's a little bit of a difference here you can fine tune your fast noise settings later but what i like to do is start off by bringing up my seethe rate check discontinuous bring up my scale contrast and brightness just a little bit from here i'm gonna open up the effects tab go to templates fusion tools and i'm gonna drop in an edge control node connect the displace node to the alpha edge or the edge control and hit two on your keyboard so i'm gonna bump this up a little bit and then i'm gonna hit shift space Type in soft glow, hit two on your keyboard again, just to bring that into the window. Let's bring this up a little bit. And now what I can do is drop in a color corrector node. From here, I can use this color wheel to make it whatever color I want. Now, the only problem is that we don't have the video right here. So to fix that, we're gonna drop in a merge node, connect the color corrector, to the green arrow and then the displace to the gold arrow. Now hit two on your keyboard, bam! Before we go any further, let's connect this merge to the tracker and see what this all looks like. Okay. So obviously the biggest problem is that this portal isn't quite centered. So after the merge, we're gonna drop in a transform node and then we're just gonna center it. You can see these outlines right here. I'm just gonna line it up as best as possible. The next thing to do is keyframe the size of this portal. So in the ellipse node, what I'm going to do is make keyframes for the width and the height, go back to the first frame and just bring it down to zero. So now we should have something that looks like this. Perfect, except not really because this is just linear poopoo-ness. To fix that, open up your spline, hit these three dots, show only selected tool. Now you should see just the ellipse. And then I'm going to select all the keyframes, hit F on my keyboard, and yeah, that's a little better, I think. Now, one thing I don't like about this, as the portal gets bigger, this outside with thingy mabob, that's a little too big. What I'm going to do is in the alpha edge, I'm going to add a keyframe for the for the pre-blur size. And then at the beginning of the clip, bring it down to zero. So hypothetically, 
it should be a little bit better same thing though open up spline zoom to fit check that zoom to fit and highlight both keyframes hit F on my keyboard. At this point, you can fine tune this outline thingy-mabob by adjusting your fast noise and your displace. The higher the contrast, the more crunchiness you're gonna get. And you know, you just start tweaking everything. You can also adjust your glow at this point. Okay, so this looks pretty good except for um that. So we have to zoom in here and what I like to do is try and continue this movement so because I'm running and then I stop I'm gonna find about where I stop moving right here in this transform node I'm gonna add a size keyframe and then find where um I want to keep moving right about there all you got to do is zoom in until you have nothing left on the, the screen just like that same thing though open up your spline zoom to fit I like both keyframes do, do a little something like that the timing on this is a little off instead of trying to just readjust these keyframes what I'm going to do is highlight them and then hit this box right here and bring this keyframe over here and you know what maybe i'll bring this one back all right this is pretty good but we can add a couple more things to really sell the effect right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit shift space and add scan lines hey, that's not where i want it so what you can do is hit left shift left click it'll unadd it and then you can drag it to where you want it when the pipeline hot well, no, no, no. when the pipeline highlights just let go there you go obviously this does not look good so i'm gonna bring up my uh scan line frequency right here and right after the scan lines i'm going to add a ripples node i don't like the shine i'm gonna uncheck that animate i'm going to check that amplitude uh that's way too high that's where all that distortion comes from i'm gonna actually uh, uh set it to zero right now and right about here add a keyframe and then when this completely takes the whole screen i am going to bump up that amplitude okay the last thing that we have to do is keyframe all of this stuff out so at the very end of the video what i'm going to do is bring down my amplitude all the way to zero with my scan lines i'm actually going to the settings adding a blend keyframe and right there i'm going to add another blend keyframe go back to the last one and just bring it down to zero so we have this in the transform node i'm going to add a keyframe go to the end of the video and reset it to one in the ellipse node what i'm going to do is just click and drag this until it's not on the screen anymore because we already added the keyframe right here davinci resolve will automatically add another keyframe and the very last node we have to keyframe is the displace so because we already added a keyframe at the very end of the video we're gonna change this to zero last thing to do is clean up all those keyframes so open up your spline zoom to fit and just fixing all these keyframes making them nice and smooth looking and there you go that's how you make the portal transition if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below or join the discord anyways i gotta go goodbye